Sorry about the sweaty. Can I get it in the wrong place? No. Okay. Okay. Sound test. Sound test. That's a gold test. Four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Going wild. Did you know what? What? That apparently a member of the Leaping Beavers have a baby that was conceived in Patterson Park during the race. Oh my God. <laughs> That's fantastic. That's that is fantastic. You got it. Patterson Park. Patterson Park is where they wrote the national anthem. And this is not this year that they conceived the baby, but another year before. But anyway, I, I really believe that the race is, is proof here again that uh, we really care about humanity. And I, I think that, I don't believe there's a, that there's a consistent academic bad. I don't think there's any just bad. I think there's, there's good and there's good. And uh, I think that people that think that there's bad uh, are people that need to relook at their lives and see what they think about themselves and the people around them, because bad is not a, Bad is not a concretum. And even tonight we learned that the truth is the truth. You know, uh, if you really love people and they love you, you tend to want to tell the truth and you want to help them. No matter what condition they're in. We had racers helping other racers win the race. Now that sounds silly, but people that were racing were actually helping others to win the race. And I think, yes, that's the way we want it. You see, whenever you want to rest, you want to get in your machine and have somebody pedal you around and feel good about where you're going and see the scenery and hear the voices and it's, it's a wonderful feeling when we give up, uh, when we pay for a little luxury and when we pay for it, we actually did more than just pay for it, we support other people. So I think it's really wonderful. One day we're going to do this, we're not going to have terrorists anymore, we're going to take their ingenuity and their engineering and we're going to turn it into machines that they build to survive in. So they're going to take them across the deserts and they're going to, they're going to put them in desert countries and save people's lives by pedaling up enough power to run an aqua uh, run a uh, dialysis machine or run something like that they're gonna we're gonna use our human power to save lives not just a political gain with all our hassles and all our troubles and everything else the outcome is really wonderful because here again we we have this uh academia which would tend to make paint the world in a black shade of dark but i don't believe in that i believe that we really are in love with ourselves, and I think that's important. I think it's really stupid that and I don't believe in war. I don't, believe, I, but I understand the necessity of war, which I think is really abstract, abstract as concept. But for a person that believes like I do, I think it's really funny that the war even enters the picture. But we need a contest, whether it be sports or war or something like that. Is we're going to have to have this contest. All my life, I wanted to be in a contest like this. In fact, I wanted to race to happen just because I wanted to drive my machine down the street. I wanted to make something bizarre that I could do that would be fun. I wanted to, I wanted to have this contest of my own without me being a, a literary giant or without me being special smart or anything like that. Just actually using my wits and my brains to, to pull myself out of this situation. I think I pass that on to other people where they wind up having to uh, survive in their own, in their own right. Yeah, we're not going to do that. In fact, I, I think the most ridiculous thing in the world was is when all of a sudden they, they decided that they were going to cancel the, uh, uh, you know, burning the gas on the eternal flame. I thought that's the stupidest thing I ever heard of, like they're going to save gas. That was strictly political. Mm -hmm. you got to watch out for politics. Politics has a tendency to want to be good guys, want to be goodsy woodsy And they, they don't really realize that there's some of the things that are more important than prestige, honor. Uh, inner drive, things like that are important. And like the lady who ran the Boston Marathon and took the bus. You don't blame her. You blame the referees for not catching her. Look out at the streets and you can see that down the street and up the street and across the street without having any problems. I think that's the most wonderful machines of all. And these are all coming out of human power. Now human power, here's the difference. Human power is, is a lot different than anything else because all you sacrifice is time. Just time. So you don't, so you can't get down the road at 55 miles an hour. So what? Who cares whether you get down the road at 55 miles an hour or not? The point is that you get down the road, and the point is you get down the road the best way you possibly can. You can even carry somebody with you, like you could take, there was somebody, in, I live in the little town of Ferndale, California, and they had a deer trail, and the only way they could get their lady, their elderly woman, to see her friend at night, or during the daytime even, was by taking, him, taking her in a wheelbarrow. So they wheel her down this deer trail in a wheelbarrow to her friend's house where they could visit with her friend. Well, that's human powered and it's used in a great, good way. 
So see, we need that kind of invention because we've got to we've got to come overcome this fact that we've got to do everything in our hurry. That's so stupid. Because I really believe in human beings. I believe they will save themselves. They'll take care of themselves and save themselves. They came to me at the first race and they said, "Look, Hobart, you've got a, uh, you, you've got. A, I'm going to go home and build one for my daughter." And I said, "No, don't go home and build one for your daughter. Go home and build one for you and include your daughter." See, there's a different, there's a big difference in philosophy there. You don't go ahead and use your daughter or your son as a shield. You go there and you build this machine that includes your daughter or your son, well, you know, and you participate together. My wish is, and, and my first prayer is, is that nobody gets hurt. When nobody gets hurt and they've all had fun and everything like that, then I think, God, what a blessing. They had the good, they had the good time that they wanted. They had the interesting experience that they wanted, and they had all the excitement that they wanted, and still nobody got hurt. So it was perfect. And for me, that's a great advantage because, after all, we're out there. We're really facing danger because we're asking people to build a machine that'll go across water, mud, and sand, and everything else, and then we're asking them to make it safe so that they don't get hurt. I think that what we do is we test ourselves, and once we test ourselves and we prove to ourselves that we can survive, that we will survive, and that we use our own ingenuity and our own engineering to make ourselves safe. So we we design into the machine or the sculpture our safety devices. Plus, we try to make it as beautiful as possible. It really be a problem, but you see, the point is, is that where do you want to die? You know, you're going to die someday. If you're born, you're going to die. So anyway, the point is, is that we wanted to make it as safe as possible, but also to have it be as much fun as possible. Right. Because we are adults having fun, so kids want to get over. So what was the best part for you, looking back over the whole day? The last day, when they finally pull out of the water, and they're all done, and they're all complete, and the race is over, and I'm thinking, they proved themselves that they can depend on themselves, they proved themselves that they can survive during chaos, they proved to themselves that they can survive Quite a few things, all on their own energy and their own power and their own wisdom. Now, Hobart, have you ever aced the kinetic sculpture rest? No, never even won, never finished it. <laughs> why, why not? I just didn't know how. <laughs> just dumb, I guess. But I, I know that the ability is there. All I got to do is twist it out. If I get it out, it'll work. But there is a lot of there's a lot of wasted time in my in my machines. So, how often have you done it? Oh God, 35, 30, 40 times, 50 times, uh -huh. tons of times, but the point is that I'm no good at it. But the point is I wanted to race. Now, think about it. Here's the good part about the race is you, you set it down so that people get to actually go down these roads and go across these fields and go across this grassy land and go across these, I don't know, I may have, I probably did. Eli, at this point now is what, about 7 or 10, I think? And he's been doing it. He's really. Whoa! Uh, uh, We're going to kind of get away. Hoover! Should we go inside? Yeah, I think the party's over. Well, it really hit, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Well, it hit like mad. Yeah. 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 I guess we're done. <laughs> I think we are. Out there. <laughs> Holy cow, look. Oh you might want to film that. We <laughs> might have chased off the deck by the tornado. <laughs> we get those outside doors before we start it's sliding. A little, yeah. It's a little <laughs> dip out there. It's yes, because I'm going to get so, real wet. Are we glad yeah. that it didn't do that? Yeah, we're glad. That, but, but although, now, if it rains, that means it's racing weather. If it's sun shining, it's tourist weather. The order of priority on this case, and it's very important, the order of priority is first the racers, then the media, then the crowds, then the sponsors. That's it. It's the order of the order of the race. Good. I think we got it done, don't you? I think we got soaked. <laughs> well, I kind of got the storm doors closed. Well, you know, the humidity in Baltimore is fairly high. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I know. It's a little damp. Let me run. I got, I got a Gore-Tex coat. I'll go run downstairs and look right now. Oh, yeah. All four. Yep. I'm going to ride down with you. Okay. Watch out for Lisa's bag. Okay. You ride down by yourself and I'll be there in one shift. Okay. Ride. Are you going with me, Lisa? No, I'm not. You're going to go down by yourself. Okay. I'll see you guys down there. <laughs> Aren't you glad that the weather decided that you're not going to I'm glad we waited until we got, we got a good interview, by the way. We did. I think we did. Oh, Peter's saying my hair. Cheers.
I'm animating. Well, I named Trout. Alveda say. I thought you don't. You just pedal forward and and away you go. And when you come time to take off, you take off. <laughs>